felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy well, old fuck hit her hard. And if she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it. And I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken destiny. all my manuscript pages. That's where it's he's been my keeping them. Store. I'm taking it.
It's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Oh God! Look at the house, Al. Look out!
lost my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way. Man, what a drop! Don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that. Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. Ah, Al, there's something moving down here. Barry, it's a take it. Use a flare, Barry. Oh, yeah. Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City. Around to the car, Al. I'll be waiting. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! You can catch up! Don't worry about it! I'm on the case! Now he's Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Destroy them to get through. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking.
The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Ah! Ah! No! Danny, you're not! Ah! The front door was Please. locked. Ah! What are you? What are you? Ah! No! No! I'm sorry! Ah! I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see they're, they're not... I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her and me and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it is. Danny, huh? There have to be victims along the way. Nearest 
games, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Writing ain't no hobby, I do this here steady Like I'm jogging, every day I'm popping I'm eager, hungry, the one they dodging When we out in public, I promise you want the same me Clean black kicks with the chain Over a plain tee, people see me Rapping, so suddenly they just paint a picture They don't know the mister, the salty one Straight up, get the finger, I hit the Bob Ross, go out on a limb, truth is That's where the fruit is, the angle to win See the apple of my eyes Just a passion to live, I saw hate Drugs, guns, addiction, got lost Made some distance, thank God it made me different, whoa, I hit that different tone, don't be so missing foam, when I get that start up, the evil that know the head face home, I chop the top off the monsters who try to take a quick shot to just complicate up your path, provided to paper, with patience paving my way up, quick vibe, then I see you later, like, I'm that one, they think that they gon' stop, I wouldn't try if I was you, my dude, I think that you'd get rocked, I hit this music with that tune that flows up right about the Top. I'm just the one that they don't know about The one that they can't stop my shit too hot Yeah
See, this is the place I've been dreaming about. All of the creatures are freaking out. Don't see me, believe me, I'm making my way. Beam will be clicking like there's no debate. Now when you be camping like I won't escape. Pulled up the hook, shadow step on your face. They get so mad, so they sending me hate. When I pull out a light, like my name's Alan Wake. Circle of healing. I got the power, it's so appealing. Tear off the ceiling. Sending them down, yeah, you know the feeling. Pallet the villain. Chasing them down like I'm the one killing. Double the trouble, I'm rolling. A bass gonna pop like we chewing some bubble gum. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? Sleep. We all spend a third of our dreams in soft embrace of the celebrity fantasy of an oblivion. But dreams have a way of forcing themselves into waking life, or vice versa. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram.
those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. open, okay? As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys? I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. You out there, buddy? Yeah. Hey, let's go, man. And this game, man, looks pretty heavy. 
Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. And one more gig. crazy drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth, a suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remembered thinking, I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. Alice! I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. was the ransom for her. 